Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola. I'm Sean Senko with the uh, Canola Council of Canada, agronomy specialist, and today we're talking about um, just uh, drill maintenance in the spring. So what we've got here is a, a fairly new um, style drill. So here we're looking at the, the seed hoses. Uh, you want to make sure that these are in good condition, not cracked or broken, um, not plugged. You can also check in your manifold to make sure that um, you've got uh, no, no plugging issues. Uh, working your way down, you'll want to look at some of the gear openers, make sure your carbide tips are still there. Um, that they all look like they're getting proper seed fertilizer separation. Uh, packer tires, if they need inflation yet, or if they're the solid rubber type, uh, if they need inflation, make sure they're set to the, the correct pressure and uh, they're turning freely. Uh, as well, your rubber down um, spouts on the in front, behind the seed tube, make sure they're in, in good shape where you tend to get um, pinching and clumping. Uh, hydraulic hoses are important to make sure you've got no leaks or cracking on them. And um, make sure on an independent opener like this, you want to make sure that your um, your depth controls are all set to the the same uh, setting. You know, preferably that half to an inch deep for for seeding your canola. So what we have here is um, an older style gang uh, type uh, air drill. Uh, one of the most important things you'll want to start with is actually getting these drills level. We don't happen to have a, a good solid concrete pad here. It's a little too early in the spring to get it back in the yard. So what we're going to do is just kind of go out in the field here. You want <clears throat> Starting, you want to make sure, let, drop the drill, the opener's uh, close to the ground, and just measure to make sure that all the levelers, front to back, side to side, are um, level with the ground. Um, uh, to adjust, you're going to want to make sure that all your adjustment points, your um, adjusters are are um, free and not seized up before you get out in the field because you're going to want you're going to need to do more adjustments once you're out in the field. Um, you know, le <clears throat> besides leveling, you want to be looking at uh, wear and tear on openers. Your your seed boots, make sure that they're still carbide on them. If you're using a double shoot opener, that you're still got the the proper seed and fertilizer spread. Uh, start looking at hoses to see if you've got uh, any cracks. We've got a a hose here we found that's actually got uh, wore through already. You're going to have seed drag as well as uh, seed loss if you're using something like that. Uh, up top we found one of the main hoses as well going into the manifold um, had cracks in it so you're gonna have seed loss, air loss through there. Uh, you know make sure tire pressure is good, uh, packer bearings are in good shape. Um, hydraulic hose we found a leaky ram that's gonna cause the to creep down as you go through the field and change your your seeding depth and not get that proper half to inch depth uh, seeding for canola. So just under a, a quick look here, we've already found that um, you know one of the openers is mismatched, probably just changed at the end of the season to, to get through. So here we have a much more worn, uh, narrower opener compared to the other openers on the drill, which are uh, a full inch wide and uh, in much better shape. So these openers will be sitting much deeper than this uh, one misplaced opener. Okay, so um, another uh, quick method just to make sure that all your seed lines are, are uh, open and actually metering. What most uh, producers will do is just simply turn on the air, spin the wheel, and uh, check for piles under each of uh, the openers. But what, what you want to do, especially on a drill like this, uh, to check for obstructions, it, it's pretty hard to see if any of those piles are different sizes. So it's best, we can see on here we've got a, a four um, secondary manifold system. It'd be best to stick a cup under at least each one of the openers on that, that uh, particular secondary system, uh, collect the seed and fertilizer, and weigh it to make sure you're actually metering evenly across the entire drill.